Hi guys and girls, I'd like to welcome you to SRC, Scott Redman Concepts. I'm being totally put off, I'm going to look behind you. <laughs> but there's a fan, can you see it there? Hello. <laughs> Huge, great role model puppy. Um, come on in, I want to show you around. I'm going to show you our putting studio today. Have a little look down here. Upstairs is like somewhere between a, a, an art gallery and a museum. Loads of original paintings and pictures, all done by myself and Emma. Um, mainly head cover designs, um, but all sorts of strange artifacts, European tour, yardage book holders, um, all this sort of stuff. But I want to show you the studio. Come on in. So in here we have all sorts of bits and bobs again, and our, um, our greenware. You can actually come in and demo all our products, etc. You, you're more than welcome to book a slot um, and come on and see what we're all about. I'm going to show you a few uh, unusual little things and my putter collection as well today. So we'll start over here. These are some of my own personal head covers. Um, this one was made out of my Levi 501 buckle backs from back in the day. A bit of camo. Um, this is a really nice cover. This was made for me by um, Emma. This was a surprise. It's my child's baby grows, both both my children's baby grows. So my little boy's this side and the head cover is split down the middle and little girl's this side. Really very, very meaningful. Um, JL jeans there, mine again, my Jane Jingles one. This one was um, a limited edition piece of leather that we got from Dr. Martins and it actually changes when it goes outside. It goes from black to all different, um, sparkly sort of rainbow cover uh, colors. So have a look at these here. More yardage books from the European tour. These are all British masters ones. And these are all from the open. And again, every single one signed by the winner of the event. Pretty cool stuff. So onto a few putters. We have, I'll show you this one in a little bit more detail. This was made for me by my good friend, James Ingalls. He's an incredible putter maker. Um, all these details are gold. That is small scroll handwork. Um, so that's been engraved in by hand, incredible. And my kids' names engraved by hand on the bumpers again. Beautiful piece of work that is. And then underneath we have the H89 made by Byron Morgan for me. This one is belonged to Michael Campbell. If you look at the end there, you can see the tungsten plugs that have been put in by the tour guys. Underneath, another putter made by me from uh, my good friend Tab Moore. This is an identical replica of the putter that Woosnam won the Masters with. And the last one on the bottom there was made for me by Tom Slyter. Lovely little welded flare neck. Really, really nice. Cool. Um, so we move on now. This is the sort of flag wall. Hunter Mayhan's um, Caddy's Rider Cup bib. US Open flag signed by the winner, Justin Rose. Um, here, this is really cool. 18th pin flag from Troon signed by the winner, Henrik. On the other side, US Open pin flag from Oakmont signed by Dustin Johnson, the winner. You need to get those bad boys framed. And then on the end there is a Masters one, which was uh, signed by Jordan Spieth. Apparently only a winner can sign within the island. Um, everybody else has to sign around the outside there. So coming on to these, selection of vintage McGregor blades. There's also a Wilson 8802 in there and a Ram Wizard there, um, which I used for quite a while. Love the old stuff, fantastic. We're moving over to some of my Scotties, so this one is a Circle T uh, mallet. Really cool. This is a Terillium Santa Fe, which I used um, in competition for quite a while and then sent it back to Scotty to have it refurbed. Um, love that putter, but my God, does it rust. Um, next one is a Cameron Holiday. Beautiful finish on that putter. Don't know whether you can see any of the oily colors coming out. And another one I love, this is my little, my girl. Crazy looking thing. Just love that stick. 
It's potters like that that got me inspired to do what we do now. And then onto these, there's a few vintage pings here. So B69, which is also known as a hot dog putter, for obvious reasons. Next one down was a Karsten & Co. Dale Head. Now this is the putter that Seve used to win the majority of his events. Um, and there's an original Dale Head there with the uh, pink golf clubs in the back of the putter. Again, quite a rare putter. Down onto the 1A. Now, some of you may have seen these things. Really strange looking putter. Again, pretty unusual. And if I just hit a putt up there, you'll see where the company got its name from. Ping. Cool. And moving around, I don't know where you've ever seen one of these before, but this is a, a greens book from the European tour and a couple of yardage holders signed by Matt Fitzpatrick. Have a look at that. Absolutely mad, crazy bonkers. It's no wonder they take six hours to get round. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then again, another bunch of um, little yardage book holders. Again, all signed by the winners. So um, I'll show you one more thing. Obviously, this is some of our putters. So I get a little bit carried away with hand stamping. But this is kind of what we do. So there's all different finishes down there. And as I said previously, if you want to come in, demo any of this stuff, we'd be more than happy to have you in. Hope you like it.